Mystery Road is a modern day thriller, filmed in one of the most spectacular parts of Australia, the East Kimberley. The TV series was filmed in Kananara and Wyndham, and embraced local Aboriginal culture. The Mirung and Gadjurung people of the East Kimberley contributed to making one of the episodes. The storyline included an ancient Aboriginal custom, a smoking ceremony. In Mirung and Gadjurung country, there's two main ceremonies. A smoking ceremony is used for sorry businesses, like at a funeral. And water and leaf are used for welcoming people to country, to keep them safe. On the day of filming, the dancers got to meet Mystery Road producer David Jowsey and share their cultural knowledge with him. <laughs> the dancers collected eucalyptus leaf to perform the smoking ceremony. This leaf and the leaf from the bloodwood tree are the only ones used for smoking ceremonies as they produce the best smoke. Agnes Armstrong explained in Mirung what needs to be said during the smoking ceremony. <laughs> Before any filming could take place, the director Rachel Perkins had to discuss with the head of camera and audio department how the scene would be filmed. They worked out a plan of action for the setup of cameras and microphones. Rachel also had to discuss how the scene was going to be filmed with Chris Griffiths, the organizer of the dances. Chris took Rachel step by step through how a smoking ceremony is performed, and Rachel gave Chris directions on how the group had to move through the rooms and into the backyard. How low our ways of how we used to do things in the early days yes. is what you see today. So what we do, if someone passes away, we come and we smoke this whole house, the whole area, wherever he or she have treaded on, slept on, and eaten in, in areas like the house, outside, veranda, so on. And the smoking ceremony is a way of saying to the person who passed away, who is a spirit, telling them that now is the time for you to go back home. Go back to Dawang, mean where you come from. Filming this ceremony was complicated, as there were many people in the scene and a lot of ground was covered. The smoking ceremony started at the front of the house and progressed through the house and into the backyard. The director watched the filming of the ceremony on the screens set up in the backyard while the camera operators film the scene inside the house. After the first take, the Mirung and Gajarung dancers were given the opportunity to view back the footage. This was to make sure it was correctly done and also for them to get a good feeling about their own performance. That's the problem in that, in that little area there. The director discussed with the group and the director of photography how they could improve the amount of smoke in the scene. The decision was made to add more leaves to the bucket so there was more smoke created. The people who conduct a smoking ceremony had been told the right way to do it by their elders. The elders give them guidance to make sure that the performance is done the right way. The song and dance that is performed in a smoking ceremony is done in a particular way to express emotion. It is done from the heart and with feeling. Both men and women perform this dance and this is how Mirung and Gajarong people unite and come together to keep law and culture strong 
and in turn be strong within themselves, knowing that the spirit of the people that passed away are always in their minds and in their hearts. Aboriginal actress Tasia Salah, who played the grieving widow, flew all the way from Sydney to the remote Kimberley region for this role. Before we shoot, we, we should always have a smoking ceremony anyway. So to make it part of the actual film, it's, it's pretty natural in a sense. Um, and to meet the traditional owners is important for me as well, my own beliefs and the dreaming. The most extraordinary part of the day for the Mirung and Gajarung dancers was when they had to perform a real smoking ceremony on one of the cameramen. To perform this, he had to tell them about himself and how he was feeling. I had a, a girlfriend pass away two years ago and um, I, I find the emotion of, of that experience comes back to cycle on me, you know, it, it, it's quite restraining. There's the sense of tradition and connection to, to what I was experiencing and, and it was incredible. I've never felt anything like it. It was the sense of camaraderie and, and just the, the age of it was beautiful. It's a sense of release. I felt lighter, much lighter and, and happier. And, and I'm, I've come here with not much knowledge, but I've, I've opened myself up to experience everything I can. And that was by far the most amazing aspect. Ah! Hey!